Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shomajita Chakravorty and today in the Medimovie series we are going to talk about postpartum hemorrhage. What we obstetrician call PPH, that means postpartum hemorrhage. What you have to understand, what is postpartum hemorrhage? It means following delivery of your baby, you know that the placenta and the membranes will come out. Whatever is the mode of delivery, be it a vaginal delivery, what we call normal delivery or be it a c-section. So following the delivery of the baby, the placenta and the membrane will come out. And at that time, there is some amount of bleeding because the placenta gets separated from the wall of uterus. So there will be bleeding and the amount of bleeding should be within 500 ml in case of a normal delivery and within 1000 milliliter within for a caesarean section. Now, this bleeding is going to happen, but if the bleeding is more than this, then it is called postpartum hemorrhage. Following delivery of the baby, while the placenta is getting separated, during that time or within first 24 hours of delivery, this bleeding is called postpartum hemorrhage. The incidence varies from 1 to 10 percent, but this is one of the most dreadful condition in obstetrics. Hemorrhage in obstetrics, we are always afraid of and of all the hemorrhages, PPH is the most dangerous one. Fortunately, the incidence is quite low. Medical literature says that the incidence varies from 1 to 10 percent and certain risk factors have been identified. So just check whether you are falling in one of those high risk mothers. If you are elderly, that means your age is more than 35. If you are carrying a twin pregnancy, if your baby is big, if the fluid within the uterus, what we call liquor, is more than normal or while you are having a vaginal delivery, trial of a labor and the labor is prolonging for a longer period, then you can have increased risk of postpartum hemorrhage. And also, if you suffer from hypertension in pregnancy, diabetes in pregnancy, if you are overweight, obese, then definitely the chance of postpartum hemorrhage increases. Now, what you have to understand why this happens and what are the preventive measures. Now, once the placenta, which gets separated from the wall of uterus, how the bleeding is controlled. The uterus, which is a large organ while it's carrying the baby, the fluid and the placenta, following delivery of the baby, the uterus will contract. And the muscles of the uterus that acts like a ligature, what we call in medical ligature, living ligature, and that will close down the blood vessels of the placental bed. So the uterus has to contract to control this bleeding. If it doesn't contract, as I have already mentioned, over distended uterus, long duration of labor, big size baby, twin pregnancy, hypertension, diabetes, overweight, obesity, if it fails to contract, then this atonicity of uterus will lead to excess bleeding following childbirth, what we call postpartum hemorrhage. Now, this happens in 80% of cases of postpartum hemorrhage. In rest of the 20% of cases, if the delivery mode, be it vaginal, that, that means normal, or a C-section, if the tissues get injured, then the bleeding will continue from the injured tissue. So how we the obstetrician control this postpartum hemorrhage? We have several medication, certain old medication, certain new medicine and certain surgical technique. Now regarding some surgical maneuver, we do some surgical maneuver, we make the uterus contracted by giving pressure or we can use a balloon that's called St. Stecken Blackmore tube. We insert it inside the uterus, we inflate the balloon so that the balloon will press on the wall of the uterus following delivery of the placenta and will control these bleeding points. And you will be happy to know that this balloon is available in this center. So you are in a competent place, in a well-equipped place to 
manage this postpartum hemorrhage. In some very unfortunate cases, if it fails to control the bleeding by use of these things, the balloon and the drugs, then we go for surgical maneuver. We have to go for uh, a laparotomy, what we call. We have to put certain sutures to make the uterus contract, stitch the uterus. We have to stitch the blood vessels, the uterine artery, the ovarian artery, or another bigger vessel, internal iliac artery, to control the blood loss. Or rarely we have to perform obstetric hysterectomy, that means removal of the uterus to control this bleeding. This is in a nutshell of management of postpartum hemorrhage. But what you have to do, what you must know, you have to raise your hemoglobin level during your pregnancy. As WHO has mentioned, it should be at least 11 gram per cent. So have a good nutritious diet. Take iron and folic acid tablet regularly. Check your hemoglobin at least three times during pregnancy and must consult a center and an obstetrician where the center is well equipped and your doctor, the team of the doctors and the caregiver nurses are competent enough to take care of you while you are giving birth to your child. And you will be absolutely happy to have your newborn in your lap so enjoy your pregnancy and consult competent doctors and well-equipped centers. Thank you.